Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with pizza in Germany that Americans have never seen. I love pizza, so I'm intrigued in seeing this pizza in Germany that I have not laid my eyes on. I'm gonna regret because I'm gonna I'm gonna be starving by the end of this video. But it's worth it to see this pizza. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so I get suggested. Social media, Patreon, all up top. You don't subscribe to any of it, put all the links in the description. All you gotta do is hit the link, follow me, talk to me. Shuma, I talk back. You guys got a favorite video suggestion, you can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. What do we got? Pizza, one of the most recognizable foods around the world. This delicious dough-based dish has many cooking variations and topping options. And today, we are going to try three different pizzas that are not so common in North America, but are very common in many countries throughout Europe and specifically here in Germany. So we're on our way to our first pizza spot out of three that we're gonna try today here in Düsseldorf, Germany. I'm gonna try some pizzas that are not very common in North America, but super common here in Germany. Let's eat. All right, so we came to this spot called Losteria, and it's this Germany-wide chain. I don't know, maybe even more than Germany. Yeah. So it's a chain, but it's known for having decent pizza. This one looks amazing. It's freaking huge. And the first pizza we're trying is tuna pizza, which is so normal. We have it everywhere growing up. It's everywhere in Germany. It's also very normal in Italy, this being Italian-style pizza. It normally comes in two versions. There's just the tuna version, and then very common too is tuna with onions. They go very well together. This one, as you can see is tuna with some red onions on it no y'all aren't gonna convince me that this pizza is good yeah y'all are not about to convince me that the toppings of pizza and onions are a good combination i hate both of them so much i would i'd never put tuna on a pizza some people like onions in their pizza but no, I never put onions. No, this, I'll just say personally, it's not for me. I can see a lot of other people liking it, but me, no. Very well together. This one, as you can see, is tuna with some red onions on it. And tuna pizza has always been and will always be one of my favorite pizzas in general. This one is huge. It's like as big as a car wheel. As you can yeah, see, it kind of flops over huge. the plate on every side. And it makes it very hard to cut. There we go, that's a good sized slice check it out so it's huge in diameter but it's very thin which is in my opinion a good thing very Italian style the crust feels nice it's very fluffy it's a little bit of flour on it and the tuna most of it is a little bit more in the central area very floppy slice here hmm Oh my god, it's better than I remembered. I remember this looking amazing. I don't remember this tasting amazing, but it does. It comes very nice together. The tuna, the best part is if it's like nicely integrated into the cheese with the tomato sauce with the floppy ones. I guess you can do the fold. Is that American? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll fold it, we'll fold it, we'll fold it. Ones. I guess you can do the fold. Is that American? Mm. We went to America. I just wanted tuna pizza, I couldn't find it. There's meat lovers pizza anywhere. There's pizza with white sauce. I think that is a little strange. And then no tuna pizza. I couldn't believe it. Uh -uh. We're not giving like Phil said, we're at Losteria, which believe it or not, is my very first time being here after living here for so long. They have their own peach iced tea brand, which I thought was pretty cool. It's pretty good. I love peach tea. All right, we're just gonna give this giant pizza a try. I think they need bigger plates. So tuna pizza is not very common in the U.S. and my very first tuna pizza was with Phil in Thailand. Mmm, mm-hmm. I love it. Ever since we had it, this is one of my go-to orders, this or mushroom. And it reminds me a little bit of when I was a kid and I may put mac and cheese and tuna fish together. It's really good. I love the onions. Sometimes it's regular. Vienna, you put mac and cheese and tuna. Maybe I'm different. Maybe my taste buds are, are the weird ones here. May, maybe it's me. I, I, uh -uh. Mm -mm. And I'm gonna put mac and cheese and tuna fish together. It's really good. I love the onions. Sometimes it's regular onions, sometimes it's red onions. I prefer it with onions too, and without flies. 
also, most people here in Germany use a fork and knife, but we're doing this with our hands because it's more enjoyable. I even saw someone here eating a burger with a fork and knife, which is cool and all, but it's just more fun with your hands. <laughs> and this one in particular is pretty thin, so I like that. I prefer thin pizzas overall. It's not the best tuna pizza I've ever had. It's not the worst. I feel like you're paying more for the environment here, a nice sit-down place instead of a takeout. So I think it's actually very good as long as it's very hot. The downside with it being so thin is that it cools down pretty quickly. It's just like 10 minutes old and I think it's already almost cold now. That's yeah. the downside. So you gotta eat fast. That's <laughs> just an excuse. Alright, last piece. So I think this one was 1450, so it's a little bit more on the more expensive side for Germany. Yeah, they, they finished that. <laughs> that was a big piece. I thought they made me eat like a couple sizes of piece. Okay. I think this one was 1450, so it's a little bit more on the more expensive side for Germany. But it's big and we just shared this for lunch. It's definitely good for two people. If you would eat this alone, you'll be very, very stuffed. But it's possible. So we made our way down to the Bilk area. We took the U-Bahn down here and we went to this restaurant called Stella, which I uh, thought was gonna be an Italian restaurant. Turns out it's an Indian restaurant. Yeah, so it's not only Stella Pizzeria, it's also Punjab Tandoori or something yeah, like that. Yeah. We are trying this Hollandaise asparagus pizza. Asparagus pizza? Spargel. It's white asparagus, which is very common here in Germany and Western Europe. I didn't see it in the US growing up very often. I think you probably can get it at a specialty store, but definitely not on pizza. Yeah, for us that's super normal. I'm um, having white asparagus. The green one was the weird one to me, yeah. but uh, it became popular on I agree with you on that too. I, I don't mess with that green asparagus either, my guy. I agree with you on that too. I'm having white asparagus. The green one was the weird one to me yeah. but uh, it became popular on pizza as well so we put asparagus on pizza yeah. same with sauce hollandaise the, the white sauce a thick creamy sauce there's also ham on it so i'm gonna give one of these a, a try it's a very white looking pizza very minimal asparagus i was surprised it looks like maybe two sticks total cut up throughout an entire pizza yeah, yeah but check it out this is what it looks like the place doesn't feel super italian like we said anymore okay but i'm gonna give it a try before i critique it that's yeah. you know Let's check it make sure you get an asparagus piece in there mm. I, don't, I, I don't know about the pizza quality but it's immediately hollandaise ham asparagus it's yeah. just a nice I can do the holidays, I can do the ham, take the asparagus off of it, man. Take I don't know about the pizza quality, take but it immediately off. hollandaise, ham, asparagus, yeah. it's just a nice combination. I think asparagus with hollandaise, especially this white asparagus, just tastes so good. It feels like the this pizza dough is just a vehicle to uh, transport the very little <laughs> asparagus with the a lot of hollandaise. That's true. Again, it's kind of a flat pizza. You can see um, the layer of ham in there. I think what they might have did a little mistake there by putting the ham too low and then putting the cheese on top in the end, yeah. which is kind of a rookie mistake when it comes to pizza. It always goes tomato sauce, cheese, and then the toppings. That's why they're nice. called toppings. It's not as thin as the first one, still yeah. a thin pizza though. I think um, for me, the dough is a, is a little lacking. Uh, the dough is, there's something missing to it. Yeah, it's a little bit of this. Um, it's denser. I don't know, maybe it's an oven problem. It doesn't rise as much. There's not a mu mm. as much of a crust either. And this is the type of crust. That would be um, a dough problem with yeast. Yeah. I don't know, I still think it tastes good. Like, uh, I think I'm just a little biased for hollandaise. Even though I should not be eating it as much as I love it, it just yeah. tastes so good. We actually did a, an entire white asparagus eating video and we had an asparagus pizza there too. And I think that one is uh, way better. That one loads the asparagus. You have an asparagus piece in oh, every wow. bite. The ham and the hollandaise is very good in that one. This one on a scale of asparagus pizza is a little lacking, but... Yeah, uh, check it. This is the pieces of asparagus, yeah. so they cut it up into like one inch pieces. This has become quite normal. However, not every Italian restaurant will offer it. So we'll maybe not offer asparagus but if you can find it and you never had it i think you should give it a try of course it's uh, up to the individual pizzeria if it's going to be a good or a bad one but even the mediocre ones are still going to be nice yeah. and worth a try if you never have yeah i really like the ham and uh, asparagus combo it's good
Before we move on to our last meal, we need you to like the video and subscribe to our channel. It's free. Thank you. And if you want to further support us, you can become a channel member or you can support us on patreon.com slash and Phil, where we make additional monthly videos. And now back to the food. All right, so we're out again to pick up our third and final pizza of the day. It's a full day of pizza eating. An excuse and, uh, to eat pizza. I'm not complaining, but I'm pretty full. Anyway, this is gonna be a one that I didn't know as a kid existed either. It made its way into Germany later and it's everywhere right now. It's not Italian, um, but it became very popular and it can be quite good as well. Let's try it. I've never had this one before. <laughs> Pizza of the day. All right, so we made it home with our third and final pizza. Check it out, <laughs> it's definitely a little smaller or oh, normal size, like the first one was huge. It's from a place called Site Döner, and it's usually a döner place. And you hear me talk about döner all the time. And one thing that is becoming more and more popular, or has been popular for 10 or 15 years, is a döner pizza, which is actually. It's the onions, bro. Is the no. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> 10 or 15 years is a döner pizza, which is actually a pizza with döner meat on it. Mm. And then again, you can choose onions. onions or whatever. And it's usually döner places or Turkish places that offer these. That's why they do döner pizza. Also at Turkish restaurants or a lot of the döner shops, they have pide, which I really like, which is this also dough, but cheese and it's spinach on it. It's a Turkish style pizza. I love it's it. a little that, less tomato based. That looked absolutely amazing. That looked amazing. That pizza would look good without the onions. I'd love that pizza, I feel like. But the onions are on there and it makes me hate it. But uh, that, that basically cheesy bread, it looks like. Also dough, that but cheese good. and it's spinach a Turkish on it. style pizza. I love it's it. a little less tomato based so than good. the Italian one. But that's not what this video <laughs> is about. <laughs> this video is about döner pizza right now. Which I've never tried before, so I'm pretty excited. And common with döner, you can choose between chicken or uh, lamb or veal meat. Yes, and this side is the veal. the veal and that side is the chicken. I just take a piece of this chicken. This is the lamb one. Or veal. veal. Veal, sorry. There we go. The chicken and the veal. Look at that. Looks pretty similar. The guy also asked us, do you want garlic and spicy stuff on it? We said yes, yes, yes. and yes. Looks good. All right, yeah. cheers. Duna and pizza, two of the best things in the world to eat together in one. Just item. eat it. Stop talking. <laughs> he said, All right, I'm, I'm trying to eat, bro. Like, yeah. he said, You not eating this delay if I eat it, so let's eat. <laughs> eat together in one. Just item. eat it. Stop talking. I think it's awesome. Wow. I've never had this before, but it tastes like a dinner on bread. Right? It's very nice. I got the chicken version, which I would prefer. You bite into it and you immediately taste the chicken meat. There's sometimes chicken meat pizza, but this is dinner style and that just means it's more flavored, it's more seasoned and you can taste it immediately. Mm -hmm. You can even taste the meat more than you do on a döner because in a döner it's mm -hmm. smothered with sauce and other ingredients. Yeah. Here they, you really get that meat and seasoning flavor. They pulled the meat right off of the giant spinny rack thing. The, the döner tier. <laughs> yeah, it's very fresh. They had nice tomato sauce that was going on it. They added the ingredients and then shoved it in the oven. Dang, this is way better than I thought it was gonna be. I was a little skeptical. I'm not really one to love too many toppings on my pizza, but this is nice. One thing that I always notice is with the döner pizza, the tomato sauce flavor goes away a little bit. Although there is mm. definitely tomato sauce somewhere on the bottom here. I barely ever order this because it's very on the hardier, heavier side, but I have to say, okay. I just got reminded how good this can be. Yeah. And this is very nice. Even though this is on the smaller diameter wise, it's very heavy still. Like it's pretty, pretty heavy pizza. Trying the other piece. I think the veal version is slightly juicier. Yeah, it is very mm. tender. But I like the taste and the flavor of the chicken version slightly better. I think okay. this could be something Americans really like. Do yeah. you think? Because I that's think like I would. I think I'd love that. I think it popped up millions off the top, and I think I could really love that. Slightly better. I think this could be something Americans really like. Do yeah. you think? Because I there's think... meat lover pizza. 
So I think we have something similar to this in the US. This might start a war by just saying this, but I think a gyro pizza is common. Mm. You know, to have the Greek style pita gyro toppings. I think that's not uncommon. I think you can still find that in the US. Yeah, I think dinner specifically is very hard to find in the US. <laughs> very easy to find in Europe. Though. Yeah, this is good. Wow. You know, you know how you showed me how Americans often dunk pizza into ranch mm -hmm. sauce yeah. or, or a butter. tzatziki? Yeah. I could do this with this one. Mm, mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> We're just increasing the gluttony. Well, I'm so full after today. Eat as much as we can. We put the rest in the fridge and eat Cold it uh, pizza is the best. as breakfast in the morning with my coffee. Ew. Anyways, let us know what pizza is popular in your country. Are they similar to the ones we tried today or are they completely different? What is the most popular pizza and what is your favorite pizza? And the most uncommon one, let us know. Yeah. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Uh, good video. Um, it didn't make me as hungry as I thought it would. <laughs> but that's all we got for this story. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Ring notification bell. Give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media and Patreon are all up top. You can subscribe to any of it. Call all the links in the description. All you gotta do is hit the link. Follow me. Talk to me. Love talking to you guys. You guys are the most incredible team on YouTube. It's your boy Dinita. Out.